I'm going to ask, every year I should say, we induct a talented person that has spent some time here in Hicksville, is a graduate of Hicksville, and this year the students selected a very special person. The Hall of Fame honoree for 2018, selected by members of the class of 2018, is Mr. Michael Kane, who is a fire marshal at the FDNY. Well, Mr. Kane, I know that you'd like to address uh, the student body, if you could step forward and do so at this time. I don't do this too often, so. <laughs> First, though, I'd like to thank Congratulate, congratulate all of you, 2018. This is a wonderful time in your life, full of opportunities and adventures. Truthfully, when I received the letter from the superintendent, I thought they might want my diploma back. <laughs> I wasn't a great student. To my relief and amazement, as I read the letter, I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame be a retired New York City fire marshal. I would like to thank my daughter, Laura, and my sister, Judy, for nominating me for this honor and the class of 2018 for choosing me. I'd like to thank my mother and father, two of the hardest working people I know, for bringing us to Hicksville. I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Joan, for 39 years of love and support. That's tomorrow. <laughs> I would like to thank a friend who, who was here today, who was from the fourth grade, we were friends, and graduated Hicksville, my friend Daryl Ostra for coming. Those are friends. It has been 45 years since I've sat where you are now. I had many great teachers in high school, Dr. Cohen in ecology, Mr. Ferry in chemistry, and typing, thank goodness I took typing. <laughs> Coach Bryant and Coach Grantham taught me in gym and sports. I played JV soccer, box lacrosse. I was also the manager of the varsity football team and the varsity lacrosse team. It was a great time that went by way too fast as life does, and you'll find out. <laughs> in, summers, in summers after school, I worked to save for college. In January of 1974, I went off to Paul Smith's college forestry, but that didn't work out to me due to money. I came home to work many types of jobs, met a girl, I knew I needed a career then because we wanted to get married. I went to welding school where I learned all types of welding. I had a good job building fire trucks and emergency vehicles where I was the supervisor of the welding shop. I got married to the love of my life and then in June of 1979, I took the civil service test for fireman's exam. And in November of 1981, I was sworn into the FDNY. I had worked many jobs before becoming a New York City, City fireman. It was not until then that I knew I found my vocation. I always liked to help people, and in my job as a fireman, I was able to help many people and have a job I loved. After 10 years in one of the busiest firehouses in the city, I took the promotion for fire marshal. What is a fire marshal, you might ask? Fire marshal is charged with the determination and the cause and origin of fires in New York City. Our motto is Veritas ex Cineribus, truth from the ashes. Only a fire marshal can bring the charge of arson. We are the detectives of the New York City Fire Department. We have the power of arrest. We can write subpoenas for documents and appearances. We can take dying declarations. I have been deputized as a U.S. Marshal, have worked with many agencies such as the NYPD, the New York City Coroner, the FBI, the DEA, ATF, U.S. Postal Police, Secret Service, U.S. Coast Guard, U.S. Army and Navy. It was an honor to serve the people of New York. 
My daughter and sister said I did brave things in their nomination letter. I think I did what I was trained to do. And so did my brothers and sisters who climbed the Twin Towers to try to save people without hesitation. They did their duty in the proudest tradition of the FDNY, where we are sworn to protect life and then property. Just like another of my class of 1973, Captain Terry Hatton, who made the ultimate sacrifice on September 11th. I can tell you anything about life, it is to don't be afraid to try something new. Jump in, you may fail, but I have found that we learn more from our failures than our successes. You tend to remember them. Don't give up trying, learn from your failures. Be good to those that help you along the way to the top. Never forget the love and support of your family. Treat others as you wish to be treated. Lend a helping hand to someone in need. Most of all, do something you love and you will never go to work a day in your life. I would like to leave you with the thought as you leave high school to start on your life's journey. It's the last stanza of Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken. And I did learn that here. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Take the, load rest, take the road less traveled. We live in the greatest country in the world where everyone can succeed. Thank you. God bless you on your journey. God bless the United States of America. I'd like to take this moment to make it clear to this entire community, students and parents, that we have Mr. Kane's name embossed onto a plaque that has been permanently placed in our main lobby uh, on a placard that reads the Hall of Fame. I'd also like to present you, Mr. Kane, uh, with this plaque. And it reads, in recognition of his induction into the Hicksville High School Hall of Fame by the class of 2018, June 23rd, 2018. At this time, uh, I love to say this line, a, a famous Hicksvillian 